Today we're going to jump into the very last one, which is, drum roll please, decompose text. You can find this also on AE scripts. Just type in decompose text. This one's actually free. Let's just jump right in. We're going to use all the tools that we've used so far in this one example. So let's jump in. Let me just make a new composition. We'll call this all the bits, oh, the bits. So here we go. The tool I'm gonna be showing you is actually decompose text and I leave it up here in a panel because I just use it all the time for everything because I do a lot of text animation. So we'll just do something simple for now. We'll go we'll type out the word run. Look at that, it's so tiny. So we'll blow it up and I'm going to center it. And then we're gonna do what we did earlier with flow, I'm going to control P to do my stuff. And then I'm going to go out here and then going to pick myself a curve. Let me see what that one looks like. And it's going to be a short, short end and then slowly come. You see the dots here. It goes whoosh, and then slowly comes into a stop. Let's see what that looks like. Hit apply and then run. Cool. So once you do that, you can, you can set your keyframes to the end, whole entire thing and then you can decompose the text. So with each character, I can actually separate into a di different layer without having to, you know, command D, command D, and then erasing each thing or even matting each thing. You can just decompose the text. So let's go here. We go characters, decompose, Merry Christmas, Hallelujah, praise Jesus. We can do this because this is gonna save us so much time. Now watch. Now we can move these things down like a frame or two, one, two, to give a little bit of effect. I think that's four times. We'll go, wow, that's that's different. Look at that, run. We probably don't want to go that way though, but you, see, you can see how it staggers and, and, and creates a, a really cool effect of time. So let's go, let's go this way with it. Look at that. Yeah, 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 run. So essentially what we did is we created a little bit of more of a dynamic uh, animation here. Instead of just having the one word come in, we have all three letters coming in slightly off of each other, just a few frames to create a nice effect. And it just adds so much value to your animations to do stuff like this. Now run might not have been a good example, so let's do like a whole entire sentence. Uh, Cause I do that a lot too, where the sentences are broken up. There might be a sentence here and a sentence here. And we have to break up each line. So we'll go like this. Let me get rid of this. Let me turn this back on and goes run like the wind and then we'll increase our things there make sure this is all lined up cool we'll center it obviously this is a very pretty typography but oh i messed that one up let's just get rid of the Let's get rid of all, the, all that, and then boom, boom. You know, let's get rid of that period. It's throwing everything off. Uh, we'll say run like the wind, forest, and then we'll shrink it down, and then right there. And then what you can do is get your thing going on here. Let me make it 20 frames. We'll go down. Like that and then we'll apply some curvature run like the wind forest and then what you can do is decompose text let's try it with just the lines which I do a lot of especially when you do political work I do a lot of political work and a lot of social media work and what you want to do with those with like politics social media anything that's quick is usually you do it line by line um, just because your mind reads lines better um like you would read a book or or you know if you're watching closed captioning on your tv or on facebook most of your mind can comprehend line by line just as fast 
are faster than word per word, but word per word works as well too if you want to do that effect. Let's just go line by line. It's a good rule of thumb. And we'll hit decompose. Uh, it opens all this stuff up too afterwards. I'm not a big fan of that. I usually just select all and close it. So, and I usually like to stagger it, you know, maybe 10 frames like that. So run like the wind forest, or you can even just make it go faster like that, where it's nice and flowy. That's only like one or two frames, two frames there. So as you can see, it creates this nice effect um, where it's like one's running, the other one's chasing it. You know what I mean? So it's really nice. You could also do it by word. So let's try that. Let's go by words. Boom. Close all this stuff again because I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, and we'll go every one frame. I'm just hitting quick keys right now. Uh, this is option page down uh, to move the entire layer over by frame. So let's see. Run like the way. That's, even, that's nice too. It just really just depends on what you're trying to do. Uh, and what effect you're trying to create. But as you can see, it's really simple, but it does a bunch. Uh, you can see how it has a real world application. Um, let's try one more thing just for fun, because I know you guys like having fun. You do. You like riding stuff. Okay, take me, I'm gonna take you for a ride right now. Let's do characters. This is always fun because it looks cool. Most of the time it's a little overkill, um, unless you're doing something that's a little more cartoony. Uh, it's a little overkill for your run-of-the-mill social media videos, corporate videos, politics like I do, uh, that sort of thing. So, characters, all of them, boom, there we go. And what I like to do with all this, because it's so much, you can just see right here, it's so much. What I like to do here is click over one frame, hit option bracket to shrinken it all up. And then you actually, like for some reason After Effects does this thing where it gives you an extra frame. It's annoying, but there must be some reason. I have no idea what the reason is. And then you right click on it. You go to Keyframe Assistant and then Sequence Layers. And what this is going to do is essentially take all these layers right here and sequence them out. It's gonna it's gonna basically just stack them so that they're right next to each other. So let's do that. Right click, keyframe assistant, sequence layers. And then it's gonna pop up this little box right here. You don't want it to overlap, you want it to be right on top of each other. So hit okay, boom, there you go. It's all right here. You can see it all stacked up. Only thing is, like just kept the frames where it is, but you want to keep it one frame whenever you're making this thing because that's how far you want it to actually sequence. But then you just grab them all and just drag them all the way across. This is a really long composition apparently, so I'm going to stop right there and then show you guys what it looks like. What? As you can see, it creates this really neat effect. And you can see where this will come into effect for, like I said, something a little more animated and fun. You could do it in a serious one as well. There there have been times when I've done it in the past where it's individual letters, especially if it's just like one big word, like run like we did earlier or vote, uh, things of that nature. So let's play that one more time because it looks so nice. Ah, run like the wind forest. Anyway, you get the point. So decompose text is probably, I use that every day because I do a lot of text animation. It is probably the coolest thing. So I hope you guys have learned a few things from this. I suggest you go and pick up decompose text on AE scripts. And there you have it. I hope you found this helpful and painless and I hope it adds value to your next edit. Feel free to leave me a comment or send me an email. Cam at camthemanking.com. Ask me anything. I would love to help you in your creative career.